Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do uh, an edit of this picture here to consolidate some of the things we've done before, maybe add a little bit new. So first thing we can do is kind of straighten things up a bit. I'd, I'd, I'd like to have things a bit straight and this is a bit of an angle here. So I can start off, going to go over here to the perspective tool. If I right click there, if it was on the mesh warp, I can then make sure I get the right one. Then I just drag the corners to straighten things up. I can pull things around here. Let's turn the grid on. We don't have to go out of this. We just go to view and show grid. And then we can pull things around. So if I've gone a little bit far out, there we go. Let's kind of move this around here like this. Use the mouse wheel to move myself up and down here. Then pull this one out to straighten that up. I'm watching the line down here. Then this has gone a little bit out, so I'm going to go back the other way just to straighten things up. That's about that's good enough. I'm not going to make a big fuss of apply that. And view show grid to turn that off again. Now then, I'd like to squeeze this up in here a bit because it's gone a little bit on the squat side. So I'm going to go to the move tool up here, and you'll see around the edge here these little X's because I want to be able to stretch this in and pull this in. And that's it's locked because there's a padlock there and it always starts off like that. So I just click on the unlock there and there it is. Now I can see the nodes here so I can grab them and pull them in. And I'll watch the circle of the clock here to see if that looks about right. Just need to go a bit more and see it looks taller now. And I'll go OK on that. Nothing to, I don't have to click OK on anything there so I can just go straight to the crop tool here. So I'm going to clip off that bit on the edge there. Just coming to the edge and this chap here, I'm going to take him out. There we go. And then the third is hitting the centre of the clock. So that'll do. So I'll apply that. Now then, the picture here was taken with the light behind it, or just a little bit to the side, which is a bit dark in the front. So a way to pick that up in the first place then is to go to layer new adjustment layer and go to shadows and highlights here. Now then what this allows me to do if I turn this up I'm going to lighten the shadows so it's just the shadow parts. And I can turn this up quite a bit because I can readjust it later even if it looks a little bit light here I can bring in more contrast. Highlights will you if you go this way it'll sort of darken the highlights but we don't need to do anything to those. So that's okay. Now then, what else can we do? We'll do um, maybe let's pull up the sky a bit more. And a way to do that is to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll go down to vibrance because vibrance will turns up the things which aren't particularly saturated. Saturation turns up everything, but vibrance just picks the things which are less saturated and the sky is not so much. If I turn this up see it's just the sky which is changing. So I bring up a bit more colour into the sky there. Now then what else do I want to do? Uh, maybe let's warm it up a bit. So I'm going to go to layer, new adjustment layer and white balance and then I just turn up the top one here to add a little bit of warmth into the picture. I can play with the bottom one, but I think this one's okay like that. So I'm going to turn that off. And then maybe make this just a little bit brighter here. Oh no, maybe we'll do some a bit of contrast work. By the way, one down here, do you see this thing here that says adjustments? This is exactly the same as going to layer, new adjustment layer and choosing things here. And it's kind of, I tend to use this because it's in the same area rather than going over the other side. So I click there, then I'll just click the brightness and contrast. Now I can turn up the contrast a bit here and see it's darkening down some of those areas there to give it a bit more contrast. Maybe turn up the brightness a little bit as well. Notice with this, by the way, I could say, what if I did that first? And I bring it down here, keeping, see, the, the mouse just to the left of the squares there. You can see that's how it was before and it literally changes it as it as I go. So yeah, I'm seeing what's happening and I think I'll just leave it at the top there. So there we go. Now then one more thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this yellow sign. It's a bit of a nuisance. So I'm going to zoom into that. 
there. Now then, let's introduce a new tool. To edit this, by the way, I'm going to use one of the healing tools, but I need to make sure that I am, I've got the pixel layer here selected, the background layer. Then if I go to these here, if you right click down here and go down to the patch tool, I don't think we've done that one before. Then what I'm going to do is draw a circle, just go all the way kind of around this here. And notice if I move around here, see that the center of that is changing. So I can literally go to somewhere, but that's okay. I've actually gone a bit far down here, so I, I'm just going to hit the escape and start again. So I can get, get, make sure I get close around the edge because I didn't want to get too far around that. If I haven't got it, the, again, I want to clip a bit more on that. I can go to add and make sure I just go around that little bit there. There you go, see, I've just added that. Now then, I'm just going to go to a place here, around here, where it puts in. You can see, it's just going to fill in the space, get the railings lined up. And I can just double click there. And there you go, that's fixed. Then I click outside there again. And now I've got the railings in there. If I want to add a bit more down here, I can leave it on the patch tool. But now I want to make sure selection source is selected. So now I'm going to pick this one up here. Just a bit of that railing at the top there. Now because it's the source, now I'm moving this around. I'm taking from there. And I can put that a bit further down, but just line it up. Double click there and click outside. Oh. Oh, don't there we go. And I'll click somewhere else. There we go. That's fixed. Then Control D to get rid of the marching ants. I've got that solid one all the way down. Then Control Zero to go all the way out. And there we go. There is our edited picture. Hope that was good and thank you very much for watching.